Hello everyone and welcome to this Lightorama tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about how to alter your RGB plus sequence networks if you have a mini director, N2, N4 director, or less than four USB 485 adapters for a show run by a computer. If you don't want to have to make any changes to your sequences after purchase, you'll need an N4 G4 MP3 Showtime director, or for a computer run show, you'll need one USB 485 adapter per network that contains props that you've purchased. The purchase page for each CPC package in the Lightorama store indicates which network that controller should be connected to for use with the RGB Plus sequences. If you're watching this tutorial, you should already understand how the RGB Plus sequences are separated onto networks by default. You can learn more by watching the RGB Plus networking overview video or by clicking the link in this video description that will take you to the help documentation on the Lightorama website. The process in this tutorial applies to both S5 and S6. If you are planning to transfer the sequence to your own preview, you do not need to watch this video. Please use the links in the description for more information about transferring RGB Plus sequences to your own layout. The first step is to download and install one of the RGB Plus sequences so that a default preview imports into the sequencer. After it imports, use the right-hand preview menu to make a copy of the RGB Plus preview so that you always have the default you can return to as a backup. Rename it so that you know it's your version. Open your copy of the preview and navigate to the Channel Conflicts and Bulk Changes tab. Change this dropdown to View All Props. In this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on altering the networks, but you can change the unit ID of your props on this tab as well. If you change unit IDs, you may run into channel conflicts, so make sure you know where everything is set by default before you begin changing IDs. In S6, you can see how many channels are on each network using the Statistics tab. Each pixel light is three channels. Check the description of this video to learn more about the recommended maximum number of channels per network and what factors may allow you to connect more or less. To move props to a different network, highlight all of the props in the group by clicking on the first prop, holding shift on your keyboard, then clicking on the last prop. While all of the props are highlighted, click the change menu and choose set LOR network. The regular network corresponds to network one of a Showtime director. Aux A is network two, Aux B is network three, and Aux C is network four. If you're using a computer, each network in use requires its own USB 485 adapter. We'll go through that process one more time. Click the first prop in the list you need to move to a new network, hold shift on your keyboard, and click the last prop. Then go to the change menu and select set LOR network. Continue this process until all of your props are moved to the network you plan to use in your own display. The next step is extremely important or your sequences may lag during playback. If you are over the recommended channel limits on any network, you need to move any physical props you are not using off of that network. For example, we've now altered this preview so that more of our props are on the regular network, which has put us just over the recommended limit. In this scenario, there's no real 16 by 50 pixel tree physically in the display outside, so we're going to move it to aux O, which is the network designated for RGB plus props that are unneeded in your preview. Using the same process as earlier, we'll highlight these props and set them to aux O. You should move props you're not using to this aux O network instead of deleting them in case you ever purchase those physical props in the future. All you have to do is change the network back to one of the first four options. Depending on how many CPC packages you've purchased or pixel props you have of your own creation, you may not be able to move everything onto the regular network and will need to use more networks, which will require additional USB 485 adapters if you're running your show from a computer or a larger Showtime director. Once you've changed your networks, save your preview. For every RGB Plus sequence you download, you'll open the file, then go to Sequence, Assign Different Preview, and choose your altered copy of the RGB Plus preview. Since no props have been added or deleted, you should see green check marks in all four boxes since it's just the networks that have changed. After the preview changes, make sure to save your sequence so that the networking changes take effect. If you create an SD card with this sequence included in the playlist, just click OK to the notification that networks beyond four, meaning AUX-O, will be ignored. And that's all for this tutorial. 
Visit the Lightorama website to shop for sequences now.